Hey everybody, it's me, Greg Manorino, back for my post-market wrap-up for today, Friday, December 15th, 2017. People, what a day. I have a whole bunch of stuff I want to talk to you about. New record highs across the board for these markets, and I know for a fact that you are not surprised. Not only are you not surprised about this, I told you ahead of time exactly how to play it. This this entire crazy week, as a matter of fact, the entire past whole bunch of weeks, and frankly, you have lined your pockets with probably more cash than you know what to do with. Um, there's no doubt about it. I explained to you exactly how I was playing this, exactly how I was trying to protect those positions, and if you followed along with me even halfway, you're a lot richer today, people, but that's really not what I want to talk about. I want to talk about this because it's unbelievable what we watched happen today. In the video that I did this morning, I explained to you how stocks opened higher, yet bonds were selling off. That was worrying me at the time because it was a mirror image of what ha was happening yesterday, what happened yesterday that pulled stocks down with it. Okay, this is how it played out today, and it's insane, and I want you to have a look at the chart right on my website, traderschoice.net, it's that bond market chart. If you were watching this like I did all day, I could only imagine how you were rolling over laughing, because it's exactly what we believed would happen, and it did happen. It's been happening over and over and over again, and I want to talk about that as well. So the stocks opened up higher today. Sit down for this one. Sit down. Don't go to the bathroom. Sit down. Okay. So, stocks opened up higher. Bonds sold off. Then, because of the sell-off in the bond market, the stocks started to wean off a little bit. Go down. No, no, no. They couldn't allow that to happen. Then, they started buying up those bonds. As a matter of fact, at the time that happened, I took a snapshot of it. And I posted it on my social networks. And I showed all of you what was going on. And what did that do? As soon as they started buying up those bonds, stocks resumed a higher run. Now, let me explain to you something else very important for you traders out here. Not, I know not all of you are traders, but this is super important. Pay attention to this. Now, I explained to you how I had calls on SPY, the ETF that tracks the S&P 500, and Facebook, ticker FB. I also explained to you, because I didn't like the way the market was trading yesterday, that I took up hedges on these positions. This is what I did, and if you didn't do that, what I'm about to say, it's fine. This is what you can do next time. If you were in those positions, like I was, again, I told you ahead of time how to play it, so you made you did really well here on this even if you held those those hedges. So once I saw that bond market, they started buying up those bond those bonds there, I closed the hedges there, okay? So reallocated those funds into the actual assets, and they went higher, and they're going to continue higher. I did something today which I don't usually do, and I hope that it doesn't come back to bite me here. I'm still holding those positions. Generally, I close my positions at the end of the day, and I don't hold through the weekend so I can sleep <laughs> a little more, uh, you know, worry-free. I didn't do that here. I did not do that here because we understand what is happening. This tax bill is going to pass. Okay, no doubt about that. They're determined to prop up this market. Good. They're giving us a gift. They're saying, here, here you are. All right. The gift is the gift that just keeps on giving. That means stocks will go higher next week. That's why I'm still holding both of those positions unhedged on the long end. Calls on both of them. Now, I may open up some new positions come uh, Monday, or I may add to these. I am not sure but I will talk about it at that time, Monday morning, when I do my first video, so you know what, exactly what's going on here. 
Um, all right, we'll see how that plays out moving forward. But the the action today in the bond market, people. Look, let let, let me let me say this, okay? Um, I hate it. I don't know in another. Way. Am I profiting from this? Absolutely, I'm profiting from this. Am I profiting from this to the point of stupidity? Yeah, I'm doing that too. But it bothers me. It bothers me because it's rigged. It's rigged. It's fake. We're trading the fake market. And again, um, it just it just gets under my skin. You know, does it? I don't care. Uh, to, of course, I care about you know making a profit here. I work really hard at it. But the fact that it's not real, the fact that it's being you know blatantly in our face faked because who I want you to think about this what investor in their right mind would be buying bonds here that are yielding nothing when you can throw a little bit of cash into a, a, an equity derivative like me or into the stock market itself and make multiples higher on your investment do you understand what I'm saying no one would do this no investor, no bank, unless of course you're the Federal Reserve, his only goal is to prop up that bond market so stocks move higher. You understand? Nobody would do this. It's anybody out here, let me explain this even more clear, that would be buying a bond here is brain dead. Absolutely one billion percent brain dead. Why would you do it? You're going to go buy a bond here? Any bond. I don't, a short bond, a long bond, pick one. You want to buy any of these in this environment where stocks have nowhere to go but up? There is. You need to see not one psychiatrist, but probably like, I don't know, as many as you can probably find around the world. That's the truth. It's absolutely fake, people. And uh, we know who's doing the rigging here of the bond market. Nobody would be doing this. Nobody. I, don't, I, I know I keep repeating myself, but it's the truth. Hey, you like my picture of a lion? Where's my lion here? Damn, I, did, I tried to make it look like a lion. I don't know. It's total madness, what we're seeing here, people. Now, let's move forward just a little bit. All assets today went higher. Gold went higher. Silver went higher. Silver went higher. The dollar went higher. Junk bonds got bid up. Everything is being bid up. Okay. What does it mean in the grand scheme of things? <laughs> it's almost a no-brainer. I mean, look, the Fed is going to keep inflating. They're going to melt the dollar. I don't care what the dollar did today. That's the plan. That's why we're seeing altcoins, bitcoins, and every other kind of crypto coin that's going to come out of the woodwork because there's going to be more of them uh, going up, period. Speaking of that, speaking of that, all right, I want to go over something with you real quick. I know this is getting kind of long-winded, but it's a Friday, and I am not planning on doing another video until Monday. Seven months ago, I joined Steemit. Seven months ago, I told all of you that I really believed in the platform. I said you should get involved in this. Since that time, I have earned over $28,000 on Steemit. For you trolls out here who, who are saying, oh, Greg's lying about this one. He's lying. Oh, don't believe Greg. Oh, really? Okay, go to my Steam It site, click on where it says Wallet, and you can see for yourself. Okay. Now, why am I saying this here? I believe in this platform. I can't stress that enough. It's, it's incredible. People want to post stuff on Facebook. You want to post, post on Twitter or wherever, wherever else. Okay, good. Go, go support the CEOs of those companies. Meanwhile, if you were to just join up on Steemit and you start posting things, people upvote, you can earn cryptocurrency without any investment other than time. I'm going to put a link in the description of this video uh, to an article I wrote about Steemit earlier. Please take a second of your day. Think outside the box, people. Join this. It, it's a revolution. It's a freaking revolution. $28,000. That's what I've earned. Granted, I have a big following. People follow my stuff. But you got to start somewhere. So what are you going to do? Nothing? Go. Go ahead. Post on Facebook. Post on Twitter. Post on 
shitter. Whatever you got to do, you know, and it's like I'm saying, look at the ads they're going to keep throwing at you, you know, and make somebody else get, get wealthy. Why don't you help out yourself? Help out yourself, period, okay? Check out that article I wrote, link in the description of this video. All right, look, I think I've summed up everything that happened today. Uh, it's not, not, not just today, but over the past weeks upon weeks upon weeks upon weeks, I've outlined all of this view with seriously 100% accuracy again. And congratulations to all of you who've been following along with me, getting involved in trading or even paper trading. I know there's a lot of you who are paper trading what I am saying to do and have, have, I've heard from you, Greg, you know, oh my goodness, if this was real cash, I would have made this, that, and the other thing. Well, you know what? Don't get too cocky there. I'm happy you're doing it. I really am. But uh, keep on practicing until you are really confident. Don't, don't just understand. At one point, I might not be here anymore. And I'm glad to be here. I really am. But you're going to have to branch out on your own. Uh, you might not have a Greg Manorino here saying, okay, this is what you should do. And this is how you should hedge your positions. So start to think a little bit down the line. I'm not saying I'm going anywhere because I'm not. And I plan to make this easy for you. That's really what I want to do. Put an understanding on everything here so you can capitalize on it because I promise you on this guy's watch, me, you are not going to fail. You're going to make money in this market. Um, it's my goal. I, I really mean it. And I can't stress that enough. All right. I think I covered everything I wanted to cover. Now, this is Friday. I'm not going to do another video until Monday. I really, really hope I'm not going to. I, I need a little downtime. I'm, I'm really working hard here. Um, and with that said, please be safe, everyone. Uh, care about each other. Think about how you do have a responsibility to everyone else out here. That's my motto. You know that. Also, pick a charity, people. Pick something that you believe in and support it. And anything um, and pay it forward and you don't even you know what this doesn't have to be cash you know a couple people wrote to me Greg how dare you support animals how there are people out there that need help yeah there is but what are you doing about it okay you pick one fight and you win it that's what you do okay I've chosen this one if you don't like it well you know what that's okay if you, if you think I should be supporting something else why don't you do it Tell, tell us all here how you are doing it. Are you donating time? Are you starting a fundraiser? Don't just sit there and dictate to me what I should or should not do or anybody else. I just think that makes you look like a fool. With that said, I love all of you and I mean that. I will see you all come Monday morning, probably not before that unless something monumental happens. See you all on Monday and watch that freaking bond market right on my website, traderschoice.net. Go have a look at it. You won't believe it. Even right now, it's still there. Look what they did. See ya.